Jen and the gang all away on holiday. They have gone down to Blackpool with the caravan for their first test run to see how they get on. So they've all traipsed off early this morning and I have been left with this guy. Frodo, say hello. Yeah, he said we're gonna have a party in Provincetown, aren't we? He was in a proper huff this morning when he was left without <laughs> without the, the other dogs. So he got left behind because he's very naughty and Auntie Jo's looking after him. He's a good boy. So I'll have him for the week and Finley's joining us tonight. So had a busy day. Um, so far, I have been doing lots of bits and pieces around about the farm. Oh my goodness, there's a big wasp just coming. Shall we go for a walk, Frodo? I think we should. It's a gorgeous day outside today. We're having a second summer and there's all my pretty flowers in bloom. And it's the end of August. We have a beautiful view to the left of the Cansey Fells. A beautiful view of our horse walker. And a view over to the fields on the other side, which is up towards the north side of the farm. And back to the horse walker. So Dee Van Haggis have to come in during the day in the summer because they are on fat camp. Poor little Haggy has a belly bigger than him. And Dee was much the same to be honest. So they come in during the day and rest their bellies. Poor Dee Van Haggis. Hello Aidan. Aidan has been put onto soaked tea this week. You've been worrying your mum, haven't you? Yes, you have. I've been very worried. He's been coughing quite a lot recently and he's already had a dose of meds for it, but turns out we think he's got allergies. So just to add to your chocolate horse list of everything that's wrong with you, we now have allergies, as well as crap feet, as well as arthritic joints, as well as knees that don't work. But you're still my Best boy. Yes, you are. How many poos today? Only one so far. That's good. So I'm trying all sorts of methods for feeding the heat him so it's not wasted. So we're now on to a bucket. Hello, Cruzy. Cruzy, my other wonderful boy, whose dapples are disappearing, aren't they? Yes, they're disappearing. I wish I could stick them all onto you because they're very pretty, your dapples. A couple of years ago, those dapples were all over them. Be quiet. Ah! Oh! Yeah, I can jump as you wait, people. And he's got a very sunburnt nose. Even though we have had our sun cream on, we're still getting a sunburnt nose. Poor Cruzy suffers from burnt nose. I use a horse sun cream sunblock, the Lincoln sunblock. And it's actually very good if you remember to keep putting it on regularly, but Cruz hates getting his sunblock on and causes a great big fuss about it. Don't you, Cruzy? Hopefully a couple more nights of applications it'll be back to normal. Here is our pride and joy, our tractor, which is leaking at the moment. We need to get a part fixed, but it's brilliant. Seriously, seriously jolts you about. There's no suspension on it, but it does the job. And on the back is the sprayers. So I am about to go and spray the fields for clover and buttercups to help improve the grazing, which hasn't been very good. But this year is starting to show signs of being much, 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 much better.
So me and the Wawa are off to admire the hard work in the field. I ran out of spray so I didn't get all of it done. But it's a field and it still looks the same as it did before. Just a few tire tracks in it. But I never knew you could get so excited about grass. Seriously. I am so excited about my field. Look how green it is. It's amazing. I'm so chuffed. However, it's taken a bit of work having to live with the smell of shite for about a month because we had to spread it with uh, a lot of cow slurry and our own muck heap and then it didn't rain for about a week and a half, two weeks and then it's taken quite a bit for it to get into the ground and the grass has finally started growing and now I've managed to get it sprayed. I wanted to spray it earlier but unfortunately the tractor packed him so um, we're a bit delayed but I am so pleased with how it's looking and so is Frodo Baggins by the looks of it. He's probably trying to find some of the remnant cow shite. Oh, and look who's here. Our chickens. Hello, girlies. I am loving cleaning all your poo off my shoes and floor and carpets. These are our chickens. And they're very cheeky ladies indeed. But they're very happy. Yes, I know, you say you're very happy. And the wow was rolling. Great. What have you rolled in? Oh, Frobo. It's only day one. Listen. Silence. No kids. No screaming, silence, it's actually quite nice. Oh, and my architect's just text to ask if we can do a percolation test later today. That'll be good fun. Hopefully that'll be my house sometime soon. Frodo, come back! Don't just look at me like that. Come back, Frodo! Frodo! Ugh, the wow, wow. Come back! What are you doing? Leave the bunnies alone. Frodo! 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 Frobo! Where are you? Frodo? Frodo? Where is that dog? Frodo? Frodo? Where's the faking dog gone? This is the problem with this farm. You lose something or someone or an animal and there's too many places to hunt. Frodo? Frodo! <gasps> there you are! Where did you go? You naughty little Chihuahua Jack Russell. Where did you go? You're naughty, but you're back. Have you been rolling in something or eating something disgusting? He says, me, never. I am angelic. I am the best dog in the world. I am so good. I do no wrong. I never bite. I never eat ears. I never do anything disgusting. I have a halo. Look at me. Look at me. I'm perfect in every way. Roby. Roby. Are those two little devil horns coming out your head? I think they are. I think they are. Will we go exploring later?
Oh, an amazing smell of mint. And Frodo's vomiting behind me. You're really adding to the moment, Frodo. I'm sure I heard a cow in here somewhere. But nope, I can't find him. I can see his footprints and I can smell him. But I don't know where he is or she. Don't stand on the spider. Where's he gone? There he is. Oh dear, I kind of came out the wrong bit. I am going to have to walk through jaggy bits to get to the other side. Ouch, I made it, but that was quite sore. Now I've lost the wowa. Oh, where are you, Frodo? I can hear him rustling. Come on, Frodo. There he is. Come on. Yay, made it. On this way. Now I've been for our walk and I'm heading back and I remembered I had my key with me so I'm hoping it's still down my bra. Yes, we're good. We're not locked out. Otherwise we'd be screwed because everybody's away on holiday and I actually only have this key so I better not lose it. Oh Heather's all that eating grass just too much. It's a hard life. Oh. There'll be a nice big dent in the grass where you've been lying down. Because you're a bit fat. Hi Echo, are you enjoying your day out? I thought I'd leave you out for the day. Because there's no flies. So we are off to check percolation test number two. Percolation test. You see, what is that? Well, I wondered what it was as well. So I am having to find a good spot for my soak away for whenever I get to build this house, which just is taking forever to get to wherever I need to be. And you need to do a percolation test, which involves digging a hole at a certain size, filling the hole with water and measuring it at regular intervals to see if it's draining effectively. So it's been an hour. Oh God, it's not looking so good. That's been one hour. Oh no, actually I'm talking crap. Yes, we have gone down. We've gone down a good bit. So let's see where we are. I need to, hopefully, if it follows the correct, or the same amount of drainage as it has done in the last hour, we should be down at the first, sorry, the second black line in another hour which is definitely better than we were on our last test. So fingers crossed, we'll be at that in an hour's time. And then I can fill up the hole to put my horses back into their field tomorrow. Isn't that field looking good? Green, green grass and a beautiful sunny day. And now, for a cup of tea in my Polish mug. <laughs> 